On behalf of ExpertVillage.com, I'm Eric Williams, and I'm here to talk to you about beginning harmonica. Okay, on playing the harmonica, the whole reason I got interested in playing harmonica was because I really was intrigued by the way they would bend notes. And being a piano player first, you can't bend notes on the piano. Um, you can, but it's not a good thing to do. But if you do it on the harmonica, it's really cool because you can make the reeds, which are in here, the brass reeds, you can make them flex and detune to the point of being flat. You can bend them a half step flat. You can even bend them a whole step flat. And what that happens is it takes the pitch way far away from what you're expecting, and then there's that tension as the pitch gradually, hopefully, comes back to where it's supposed to be. Let me demonstrate now. First, I'll just do it so you can hear it, and then we'll talk about how I did it. Here's a regular note. And here's a note that's being bent flat. Hear how it wavers down low and then comes back? Okay. The secret to bending the reed in a harmonica is you have to draw the air. You can't really bend notes when you're blowing the air through. But when you're drawing the air, you have to vigorously and energetically draw the air in a way that actually distorts the reed, bends it out of shape, and makes it go out of tune. You can enhance that effect by some people try to tilt the harp up a little bit. If you tilt the harp up, it changes the airflow direction and helps bend the reed. You also can do it by arching your tongue, which is the way I like to do it. By dropping your tongue different ways and arching it back up, you're redirecting the airstream inside your mouth as the air is coming in, and you're bending the, the, the reed. Let me try it again. Again, this is very hard to show someone, but if you listen to it and then grab your own harmonica and try to make your harmonica do it, 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 is, it is attainable. possible to actually play two different reeds at the same time, or even three, and bend them all at the same time, which gives you that very distorted sound, and then they all resolve back. So it takes a lot of air power in reverse. You're actually drawing the air back in, and then you're bending the reeds. 